Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Donnie and you are watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today I've got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. <clears throat> First of all, excuse me, I received a package from one of our Diamond Painting family members. She's in the group. She orders pens. She um, comments quite a bit often on the videos here and her name is Patricia and she's in Georgia. I'm sure she knows who she is. I wanted to thank you very much for the pins that you sent and she also sent me this adorable little notepad that I've already started keeping notes in. I actually wrote down all the different sizes of shirts that we have available and the different types. So we're, we have t-shirts and we have the camis, the tank tops, and we got long sleeves that came in today as well. So that's what I started using this book for and I think it's just adorable. I love the glitter and you know me, glitter, glitter, glitter. Well, sparkle, sparkle. Um, she also sent Teslin a little something and here is a short little video of her opening that Daddy, present. Daddy, I have a present for me. Let's open this. It's from Patricia Stevens. Tessalyn? It's from, it's from Pat. Oh, it's from Pat. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's an egg. I know what it is. Here, why don't you rip the tape? Get the tape. Here, let me cut the tape off. Yeah. Tilt it down so I can see. Okay. <gasps> what is it? Let's open it's it. It's Pop Rocks. Do we eat it? Yeah, it's the candy you put in your mouth and it goes pop, pop, pop. Even that big balloon for Ayla. That's the gender reveal balloon. I, I know what's in here. I know what we're having. Our new grandbaby. I know what it's going to be. Can I open this? Yep. Say thank you to Patricia. Thank you. <laughs> say thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. You got to look at the camera and say Thank it. you, Pat. Okay, bye. <laughs> She gets so excited. It's just wonderful. Um, she also sent me a couple of rolls of this washi tape. I love the Scotch brand. It's nice and thick. So thank you very, very much, Patricia. Um, I will use it wisely. So I also got something in the mail that I ordered from Etsy. Um, I will put the information down below if you're interested. Um, and checking out what they have. Um, I wanted to open it with you guys, so I haven't opened it yet, and this is what it looks like. This is the package. Um, I'm wondering if I can, if the shipping is cheaper in smaller ones like this. I don't think it is, um, because it's a package. A package is a package, and you have to um, it's the same price up to a certain weight. So I, that just made me think of that all of a sudden because I sometimes send out uh, smaller pens or, or just a single tray. And, you know, I'm trying to find it so that the shipping isn't so much for you guys. So um, that was just a random thought that I thought I'd share with you. But anyway, um, the guy's name is Dan Weeks, and I'm trying to remember the name of the shop. I'm hoping he has a card in here. If not, I'll pause and get the information for you. Um, but um, he's in Washington, and he uses a 3D printer, and he makes different things um, for diamond painting. I believe, I can't remember what all I found on his shop, but um, this is what drew my eye, and so... I wanted to share it with you guys. Let's see if I can get this. Well, it's separating the bubble wrap from the package. That's weird. All right. 
I ordered a pretty purple one. It's just, it just, it's just a drill tray, but it's got that little hood over it. And yeah, he does have a uh, card here, so I'll show that to you in a second. But I thought it was pretty neat because of uh, this thing right here. Uh, he, they sell it um, with the long one or with the short one that just goes over the spout part. But I tend to have drills jump out the edges here, so I thought I would grab one um, with the top covering the whole thing. Um, just to show you what size it is, here's one of those, those large white trays you get. So it fits inside of it. It's not quite as big. It only has the grids that go up here. They don't go completely up, up to the top where it's got the angle, which is, in my opinion, the better type of um, area to have them. The ridges on the inside are a bit taller, so I haven't tried them out yet, obviously, because I just opened it. So um, I have some drills here, and I want to give it a try. But um, let's see. It is just about the same height. It is the same height as one of these trays here. Let's see if I can... So, but it is kind of angled out, up, out and upward, like more like a boat. And these are straight up. I like. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not either. Let's look at it really quick. I'm almost done with my Tinkerbell, and so I have the kit here. Um, his store is. It says each item is created in my shop near Tacoma, Washington. And the store is called My 3D Designs, 3D Crafted Items. And I'm going to hold this up here so you can take a look and pause if you need to so you can read it as soon as it focuses. There we go. You can see that. All right. So let's get these black drills out here. Pour some in here. See, because we know that square drills are smaller. Those are the smallest of all the drills, and those are 2.5 millimeters. Um, rounds are 2. Point, no, I'm sorry, 2.25, 2.25 millimeters for a square, and the rounds are 2.28, and then diamond dots are 2.3 millimeters. So let's see if this is going to seat the rounds, how well they're going to seat in here. Looks like I've got a clump there. I've been get, I get these big staticky clumps. It's really weird because normally once you put them in the tray, I don't have an issue. But with these drills, I've been having a lot of that. So... Just kind of making them jump around in here to see how well they stay in. And that's pretty darn good. None of them popped out and I was throwing them out around and they're really good. So, I, I like it. Um, I can't remember if this is that same shop that, that um, hold on, I'm going to check real quick. All right, yes, this is also the shop that I saw that has a multitude of different shapes and and they go pretty large. The, he's got butterflies, all sorts of different animals. He's got penguins, a dog, uh, rabbits, turtles. Is that a turtle? Yeah, it's a turtle. Owl, giraffe, goats. Um, He's got a lot of different shapes. A an Easter egg, a flower, um, and a huge heart too. And those are those run a little bit larger. I mean, those run a little bit more money. The extra large size. I'm not sure. Um, he does sell um, them. I'm not sure if he sells them in small and large. But this was six ninety five. Um, he also has one that has the spout on the corner, 
and I'm not really a fan of that corner spout so uh, I didn't go with with that um, the butterfly looks interesting and it has a nice scooped out corner for the drills to go through so I might try one of those I don't know but he also sells a diamond grinder um, it looks almost just it looks very similar to the one that Archer Art sells um, I don't want to, you know, take anybody from who's a fan of our charts or anything. I, I just like to try new stuff, new shops. And, um, yeah, when I saw this, um, tray, I thought I'd, I'd start small and then possibly work my way up to one of the other ones, um, depending on how I liked this one. So I'll work with this one for a little while. He's got, he's only, he's only got about 22 different items in the shop. But he does offer them in different colors, um, and it's very unique and very interesting. Um, I'm I'm thinking I might go with, you know, just something. I love the butterfly, but I'm thinking I might go with like the giraffe or the goat. When it's funny because the goat, when you pour the drills back in, the the spout is the the, the goat's tail, so the drills will pour out the goat's tail, and he has an owl. Um, the turtle is interesting. Uh, when you pour it out, it comes out his face, the, the mouth part. But, um, yeah. Um, so I'll leave a link down below to his Etsy shop. And um, I'm sure you'll be able to find the listing for this easily. But if you want, I can leave a li uh, listing for this tray as well. But, you know... This would be really good for tilting, because, I mean, look at how much I'm tilting it right now, and they're not moving. I really like that feature. So so these higher ridges on the inside, that really helps for people who like to put their um, diamond paintings on their tilt tables and can't don't like it when all the drills come falling down to the bottom, except for some a few of them. So this would be really good for, for using on, on my larger tilt table. So, there's that, and I have one other thing to show you that I picked up that I am putting in my shop. Get ready for this, guys. And I'm going to test out this spout when I bring this forward. So, ready? Here it is. This is the mother of all trays. I have never seen one this big. And, um, it was kind of hard to track down, so, um, I'm going to give it a shot, and if it's something I feel that would be valuable to offer you guys, I will pick up some more, but at, at the moment, I've got one for myself, and then I picked up two more, so if I like it, I will put them in the shop, or if I don't put them in the shop and you're still interested and you just let me know and I will I'll gladly part with them but let's give this a shot all right right off the bat I'm not liking that it's not completely flat and this one this one's perfectly flat let's see this one's as flat as you can get, so I don't understand why. Maybe because it's bigger and it, I don't know. It does have these ridges around the outside I'm not a fan of. Um, of course, this has that as well, but it's thick and the ridges seem to be pretty tall. Um, I'm not sure if they're as tall as this one, but let's go ahead and try the spout on this. See how this pours out. Well, I like that this purple one has, um, not, nothing has jumped over the edge and all but that one came down. So that works really well. I like that. 
All right, I am going to, I'm gonna pour a few more drills into this tray. I don't want to pour the whole thing in, especially if it's going to be difficult to get them back in. I don't know yet, but let's see how this works. Okay, I'll pour them all in. Uh, this might be a little, see how difficult it is to shake this tray. Now, some of you may be looking at this and saying, why on earth would somebody need a tray this big? Well... I would like a tray this big because I use the wheel tool. Um, granted, I use it with my hand. I do not use the sticks. I will not use the sticks. I cannot control it with the sticks. But I love using it with my hand. I got so much done in the short amount of time I was able to diamond paint last night. And, you know, I, I'm super happy with the wheel tool and the multi-placers I use. And that will be my next video showing you all the different types of multi-placers that I have found, what I like and what I don't like, if anything. And, but using something like this, when you are using multi-placers or wheel tools, it will save a lot of time having to, um refill the tray, reshake the tray, re-maneuver your drills into the position you want them in. So I'm seeing that they, they jump out a little bit, so, you know, having the edges a little higher would have been nice, but it, it's not too hard to grasp and, you know, do the shaking. You know, I, I can't seem to ever get it perfect to where there's not some drills that are mm, not wanting to move, but there is a lot in here. I mean, this was my entire box of drills. So, this will be wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful for using, you know, doing my multi-tool and my wheel. And when I do my drill with me, you guys will probably see me using it because that's what I'm going to get to do probably tomorrow morning. I'm going to do a drill with me. And after that, I'm going to wrap up all the pins. Because the drill with me, I'm going to start trying to do drill with me's twice a week. During those drill with me's, I'm going to show the pins that people have ordered. And the supplies. And I'm going to set them back to the side and I'm going to diamond paint. Then when I'm done doing my drill with me, I will wrap them all up and send them out. This is going to save me a lot of time. I'm still going to have a video out there where I'm talking. And I'm going to actually be able to do the craft that I so desperately have been needing to have time to do and love because I just don't get time to do it. And... This is, I think, a happy medium where people still get to see their pens. They'll still get to hear their name called out. They'll get to see the, um, you know, the finished product. And, and then they'll get, they'll be surprised on what it's wrapped in. And it will take me a lot less time. It'll save me a good three hours. Yeah, three hours of preparation time for a two-hour video normally. And, yeah, I think... I think that will really help me uh, because it's been it's been kind of stressful trying to figure out how to keep getting my putting videos up for YouTube and um, be able to show you guys your orders. So back to this tray. Um, I don't want to mess it up now that I've got them all in here, but I want to be able to see how easily. I'm going to be able to pour it back into a container. First of all, let's try tilting it and see how high those ridges are and how high we'll be able to tilt it without them falling because I wouldn't want this entire tray to fall and dump all my drills all over the place. Okay, so here I am at probably a at least 45 degree angle possibly even closer to 60 degrees, I'd say. 45 would be about right there. So, yep, 
that's about the limit to it is you know 55 to 60 degrees um, not as high as I could get with this one but it's still pretty good for putting it on a tilt uh, tilt table yeah I think that would work I just don't know if I would want a chance putting this many on a tilt table and and then chancing it falling as I'm working on it so but it is possible and it looks like it will work okay all right so now I'm going to ruin this beauty and I'm going to see about pouring it back in the container which this will be the fun part so I'm gonna try and shimmy them down here at the bottom got some of them here I'm gonna put them into another tray because I'm I don't want a chance yeah that that might be the only issue it might be good to have um, a piece of paper underneath a, a big piece of paper which I don't even have one of those yeah here I've got a packing slip that I have from my t-shirt order let's put this underneath so that you know we can kind of curl up what what gets left over you know generally you wouldn't be pouring an entire tray back in unless you start work and then find you have to turn right back around and put it away and you know who knows unless you have a very large area you know you'd be using that many drills for or close to you wouldn't be pouring this much in there I don't think but this is the only color I have left on my diamond painting to do is black and so I probably would fill this whole tray up and not have to fill it again because I'm all about efficiency you know trying to get more for a little less effort I'm, I'm only gonna have to fill the tray one time and and then I'd be good to go but yeah they do kind of stick in the in in these um, rails tracks it's a tight fit for the rounds well in some places some of the rounds must have been too big but for regular size rounds they do fit quite nicely um, so I like both of these trays I do and I will I'll use both of them in fact, I'll probably use this purple one over the white one. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think of either one. And, um, yeah, leave your comment down below in the, in the comment section. <laughs> Not the description box. That's where I put things. So, yeah, they, they, they're kind of stuck. I've got it upside down and they're not coming out, so... Yeah, those must be big drills, too big for the normal size. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that basically covers it. Um, like I said, the t-shirts are in the shop. Go take a look. Um, I've got a couple of colors that are, I have a couple, I have one man's pink shirt and a man's white that are 3x and 4x one of one of, there's just one shirt of each of those colors for men's and i got a bunch of women's t-shirts posted and i will be working on the tank tops and the long sleeve shirts next other than that um i think i've shown everything that i really had to show in this video thank you again to patricia for sending that awesome package um if i haven't mentioned you um that means in a package that um you sent or something either on the in the facebook group or on my videos that means i have not received it yet um i do know i'm waiting to receive a couple of packages one was supposed to be a return to sender um, um from the shop and i haven't received that yet so i don't know if something is going slow in the mail system right now or if returns take a while or what I don't know but um, I do know other people said they were gonna be sending stuff and I haven't received them yet but um, we do check the box every few days unless I know for sure something is in there and I will 
probably we might be checking it again today. So anyway, if you have if you've sent something, uh, you still might hear mentioned um, in the next couple of videos whether once we get it. So guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you um, humoring me in my venture to try and offer you guys unique <laughs> or different um, style things that you might like to use. I do like to test them before I offer them, so um, I guess this review was kind of me testing it. I am going to offer, I'll go ahead and offer the other two. Um, these ones are, were not cheap though, so um, they won't be the same price as the uh, regular trays here. So guys, thanks again for watching. Um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button or the thumbs down button, whichever it is that you prefer, but I prefer the thumbs up. That makes me feel good. And I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, have fun diamond painting and remember to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care everyone. Bye.